and welcome to another edition of the most consistent, prolific, and dedicated uploads in YouTube history. This is the dynamic Sean's View Entertainment right here on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe with the latest backstage developments on the future in the WWE's plans for Raw and SmackDown. With the ratings for Raw and SmackDown dropping significantly over the years and never bouncing back since the Attitude Era, it was noted that the drop in ratings, according to Forbes, puts even more pressure on the WWE Network to succeed in 2015. Wrestling tends to be in a circular business, going round and round from lows to highs, but the disturbing plunge in ratings of the WWE's two biggest shows highlights just how much the average fan's interest in pro wrestling, and specifically the WWE, has faded in recent years. There is rumors that the USA Network may have to step in at some point and persuade WWE to change or go in a different direction that allows for better ratings. Uh, there are many insiders who believe WWE should be shooting to raise the bar each and every week and then ratings will rise once again. Uh, perhaps more importantly though, it puts even more pressure on the WWE Network. Now the network has to succeed, absolutely has to, is the belief. Uh, there is speculation that once SmackDown moves to the USA Network in 2016, WWE will change the format to a certain extent and adopt another strategy and become more consistent in storylines. There is also talk, finally, that SmackDown will be better utilized in 2016 once it moves to the USA Network and storylines will flow between Raw and SmackDown each and every week. Well, I know there's been a lot of talk from fans on the internet that, you know, we want to see a brand split. We want to see a brand extension. We want to see two champions, one on Raw, one on SmackDown. But I don't think we need that. We need a creative writing. We need something that's compelling, something that's intriguing, and something that keeps us wanting to watch week for week. Why should we watch as a fan? What is the reason to watch? You know, back in the day, Raw and SmackDown used to be compelling, intriguing, in the way that, you know, okay... I got to watch next week. I got to see the conflict. I got to see with the trust. I I, I got to see how this storyline is going to evolve. I got to see what kind of response it evokes. I got to I got to see who's going to win. I got to see who's going to uh, battle the odds or who's going to, you know, there was always something different. There was always something new. There was always something fresh. And you're really not getting that with Raw and SmackDown. And maybe in 2016, the perspective will change and the WWE will finally give us uh, something to watch and give us something to be on the edge of our seats. Subscribe.